Hi, I am Jennifer Foxworthy, the founder and CEO of Inspirationally Speaking and the founder of the Unstoppable You Women's Conference. I had the absolute pleasure of bringing the second annual Unstoppable You Women's Conference to York, Pennsylvania on Saturday, November 15, 2014. We did a fashion makeover for three fearlessly and beautifully made women from addiction and homeless shelters. It was a humbling and honoring experience. But I have to recognize my fashion experts, Vanessa Riley Harris, Yolanda Jones, and Llewellyn Coleman. I could not do it without them. The Unstoppable You Women's Conference is all about community. We are our sister's keeper. So, coming to the stage is our first beautifully made. Oh, let me actually, let me put up her before picture. Her name is Yolanda. So this is her before picture. You know, this is that new life for girls and, you know, just chilling, you know. Can y'all see that? Yeah, turn okay. the lights out on it. Is there extra lights? The lights on? are all the way over there. I can't over it. Never mind. Never mind. So this is the before, and now coming to the stage, actually, let me come on over here. <laughs> See, I, I, flexibility, I gotta, figure, I gotta figure this out. Yolanda, work it, girl. Eat, eat, eat. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. Unstoppable, isn't it? Look at this royalty coming off the stage. All right, Yolanda's holding the office down today. And it's dazzling, black and gold and mesh, two-piece set with match with a matching blouse. Like that jacket is a little suave going on, right? All right. Love those black flats. And she's topping her outfit out with some black pumps. And you want to talk about her? Oh, yes. She did get her hair cut beautifully done by Miss Wubby over there. <laughs> and her makeup actually is done by my partner back there, my yeah, new partner today. So she did has a little natural look for her. Give her a little spunk to go for your day during the day, your day look. <laughs> we want to talk about her hair. It was done by Lynn. Lynn, you want to stay, stand up a little bit? And she, yes, she, she, Yolanda has high cheekbones, so she basically targeted the cutting, you know, off her hair, adding to the her side bang, and she finished it off with a pink cuttering, right? Oh. Beautiful. End of her hair to add a movement and some seam, softness around her face. I think that's a really great look. So and she also decided to do a range there that at the temp just to concentrate on a soft blend from her dark hair and natural highlights. Natural highlights. Thank you so much, Yolanda. Excellent, excellent. Okay, so next coming to the stage is our second selected beautiful lady. Miss Jennifer! I love her because we got the same name, so I love her all. Work it, girl, work it! All right, Jennifer's entering her meeting with confidence. This two-piece black and white, black leather knee-high boots accenting her outfit, and she's also wearing a burgundy scarf. Yes, let's give her a hand. Yeah, I love that, I love that. Eyeline skirt, she has an A-line skirt on, and it's fitting as well. And it's showing her style and her confidence and her grace. Oh, we want to talk about her hair now. Lynn is also compliments of Lynn. And she has deep set eyes, so Lynn decided to play with her hair a little bit and use the dark violet highlights by Paul Mitchell. Very, very nice, very nice. You want to talk? again, my partner did this young lady too. <laughs> I, 
Um, but she did really good with a natural look on her and actually did a, little, a pop of color on her eyeshadow. So brought her out a little bit and put that gorgeous smile on her face. Yes. Yeah. Jennifer, drape that scarf, you know, be versatile. Drape that, yeah, there you go. There you go. Yes. When you have a scarf, work it. Work it. Oh yeah, and, and you want to make sure that, like, she, like Jennifer was saying, Jennifer here, that you want to make sure you work your scarf. If you're wearing a scarf, ladies, make sure you kind of work your scarf in any way, you know, especially if you're going out. She can basically take this out and go after five, because even though it's a basic, it's a basic business, there you go, it's a basic business attire, but she can also go after five with this as well, so it's a dual look. So that's just some little tips about that. Thank you so much. Thank you, Jennifer. Okay, so the next selected beautiful lady bringing out her style of business attire is Miss Terry. I sound like Oprah. Didn't I? Terry. Work it, Terry. All right, Terry. Let's talk about her hair. Terry has beautiful eyes, so Miss Lynn decided to use Paul Mitchell as well with a red brown overlay with red gloss to give her a deeper hi highlight of her red. So that's that's really jazzy. I really like that. And and Terry is going to demand respect and attention. Style Miss Spears. Spears. I mean, she's she's real cowgirl boots. Look at those cowgirl boots. They're blazing. She's going to be blazing the office. That really pops her Cinderella gold-colored blazer with a demon skirt with a smoky gray top. Love that top. And she's also highlighted with some chocolate tights. You know, tights are in for, for the fog, you ladies. And it looks good with the, any type of denim skirt or just a regular black skirt as well. You want to turn around for it? All right, yeah, turn around, yeah. And that scarf is really nice. It's actually it's with a multicolored gold color and black, so she's that's dual as well. So she's actually she can take this right from the business and out out of the night, you know, for the night if she likes. This is also a dual outfit as well, and she's accenting with her her purse to match as well. Love that, love that look. Business chic, savvy, unstoppable. <laughs> did this uh, did her <laughs> um, she liked to play with color so she said do whatever you want so we have about four or five different colors on her eyes pop her out with some gold even put a little glitter on there and actually the gold complements her outfit um, so it was fun doing her because she whatever goes go we have we were able to do back there with all the makeup back there awesome, awesome. Wow. Oh, um, Miss Holly, can you stand up? Because Yolanda would like to address your makeup. I did Miss Holly too. She's so beautiful. <laughs> I was able to give her a natural look. So if you don't want to, someone doesn't want to be as eye popping as myself or a young lady back there, um, an everyday look that she can easily achieve on her own and it's just something that you can wear to work every day or you know or out on your special occasion wherever you choose to do that it's not like oh you don't feel so bad or you don't think it's too much but it's just a nice simple natural look thank you Londa. you know and I for um Miss Cassie can you click through the before pictures of each lady again so this is Yolanda, and then Jennifer, and then Terry. And I want you to know, ladies, that Mish Mash Consignment Boutique on East Market Street donated and gave these ladies their outfits. So Miss Francine Burke is the owner of Mish Mash um, Boutique, uh, Consignment Boutique, and when I needed to find, I just Googled clothing boutiques in York, Pennsylvania, and the first one came up was Mishmash. And I was expecting to get laughed at and hung up on, you know, because I'm like, where am I going to get these ladies their clothes? 
And when I called, Ms. Francie answered and I told her who I was and what I was doing, that I want to reach back into the community and bless ladies who just found themselves in uh, horrible circumstances but are trying to get back on the right track. And she says, say no more, say no more. I would love to partner with you. I would love to donate the clothes to these ladies because, and that's what it's all about, is community. Ms. Francine Burke did not have to do that. These ladies got two outfits. I'm about to bring them to the stage as soon as I know that they're ready. They're going to show their after five outlook. So I have fabulous, you know, expert panel, hair, makeup, fashion etiquette tips, mishmash consignment boutique. Again, I could not do this alone. But I needed to bless these ladies all ladies to know that they are beautifully made, that they are God's daughters, and to just boost their self-esteem so when they go back out in society, they can continue to be productive members. Vanessa, do you have any, before we bring our um, Yolanda out, do you have any um, other tips that you might think of to share? Uh, basically, if you're in the business setting, you want to make sure that you're comfortable um, and that's why I believe Jennifer wanted to make sure that we out basically portrayed some business outfits and as well as after five. And most of the business outfits that you've seen, you can basically take that from the business and out after five as well. So if anyone has any questions afterwards, I'd be glad to answer any questions about that. And, and we also use a lot of scarves. And Miss Mash, am I pronouncing it right? Miss Mash, she's the one that actually selected the clothing for the ladies. Because um, she wanted to make sure that they were comfortable and had confidence in what they were wearing. So they, they were able to decide for some of the outfits that they wanted to want to wear. So um, that's also a great thing because you want to feel good about what you have on. You want to make sure you're portraying your confidence level and you have a respect, showing respect for yourself and you're making sure that you're representing style, elegance, and grace. Outstanding, outstanding, outstanding. So without further ado, we are going to bring Miss Yolanda back out on the stage to strut her after five. Woo! Work it, girl, work it. All right, Yolanda, she's ready after five. Winter Wonderland and this jazzy pecan tan thigh length vest. Very engaging brown fringe scarf. Yolanda, show some of the fringes out in that scarf. That's, that's really jazzy. And also, she's, she has slacks, the brown slacks on this taper, and she's also accenting, stepping out with little toe, uh, flat shoes. Very nice, very nice. She's strutting out there. Yes, indeed. Thank you so much. Are you going to talk about her makeup? Did you do her makeup? It's still, it's still, it's still. You already said, okay. She didn't touch up or anything. All right, well, well, and you know, that's a great thing to do when you're doing makeup, make sure it's just normal for every outfit. You don't have to kind of update it or anything. But sometimes when we're doing a little out of, out, after five, you may want to put some more little highlights in because it is after five and day wear is, you know, business. So that, that's great, natural look. Outstanding, Vanessa, thank you. Next, we want to bring to the stage Miss Jennifer in her after five. Dazzling evening away in this lime green blazer. And look at that fun dark gray shirt up under. I love that. Love that scarf. It's very, very nice accenting on her outfits. And she's also wearing her, uh, she's stepping out in those black leather new knee high boots again. You can't go wrong in knee high boots with, with jeans. I'm telling you, this is really nice. I really love that look. And she has some sparkle going on in her in the, that shirt. Is that like a character on the shirt? Oh, wow, that is great. Very nice. Very good. Very good. Very good. All righty. Thank you so much. Uh, next, we are bringing in our last lady. Miss Terry, I want you to, girl, do your thing. <laughs> do it. All right, Terry is demanding, demanding respect and attention. It's down this fierce black cape. You all remember the sound in, back in the day? It's coming back. These capes are actually coming back. 
So you can always jazz up your style with a cape. And I love those stretch pants that she's wearing, fitted. And there we go, those cowgirl boots. They're saying something. Yes, I love that signature cowgirl boots. That definitely will stamp the look, style, elegance, and grace. Thank you so much. Can I have all the ladies up on the stage? All the ladies. Je uh, Terry, Jennifer, Yolanda. Let me get this screen up. <laughs> this is what it's all about. Unstoppable You Fashion Makeover. Miss Terry, do you have anything to say? really know what to say except that I'm just so thankful to God for this amazing opportunity and Miss Jennifer this has been amazing I have struggled with my confidence my entire life because I was one of those women that was constantly put down told they were not worthy told they were ugly told they they would never make it in life and look at me now I mean it's amazing I, and, I, and I know I know that I know that I know that today I am accepted, I, I am loved, I am chosen, and I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Thank you. This is the unstoppable me. <laughs> and I give God all the glory and all the honor for making this change in my life. And I thank you all for choosing me to be here in this moment. Thank you. Wow. That's all I gotta really say. Um, Wow, like I can't believe I'm even up here talking to you and feeling comfortable. <laughs> you know, um, in, the, in the beginning it was kind of like, um, should I, shouldn't I? You know what, like, you know, the devil's a liar. The devil is a liar. I mean, he messed me up through my whole childhood and um, I didn't think that I could make it this far, but God, you know. Oh God, and um, thank you guys for everything you, this is such a blessing. I, I could not have imagined this. I mean, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. Thank you so much. I would also like to add, um, with my ladies, working with my ladies, they were amazing. And they think it was life changing for them, but it was life changing for me. It was such a blessing to give. We're always putting our hands out to receive, to receive, but to be able to give without expectation is an amazing feeling. And also, Miss Terry, we had fun with Miss Terry because she, we actually cut off 11 inches of her hair. And originally, we were gonna do six inches, and um, she wanted to donate her hair, so she had to go these 10 inches. So she, with tears in her eyes, <laughs> began to, um, said let's do it because she wanted to donate her hair for um, cancer. And so we were able to cut off finishes and additionally to donate her hair for cancer. But it was just so amazing because the experience alone was absolutely beautiful. And I got a chance to share with the ladies while I was working with them the importance of it because we've all been through some walks and some things in our lives and we don't realize and we were talking about the hair and how hair can sometimes be a covering or a dead weight for you. And with some of the things that they've been through, we don't always understand that even though we've been forgiven and released from within, there's some things that are in our hair that have yet to come out because we hold on to things, we don't let those things go. So I told them, so even though there was some renewing done within Christ within their lives, cutting these things off is letting go of the past. So not only was it a physical transformation and a, a spiritual transformation, but it was a release of what was once there that is no longer. So I'm grateful to work with them. You know, these ladies were amazing. Um, I came in and I worked with them. They never addressed the stage. They never really walked the stage. And they said, this is my first time, but did you see the transformation? They walked out here like they had been walking on that runway for 10, 15 years. And all I can say is thank you so much for just being able to, able to work with you and being so open. And it showed in your face that you had confidence, style, elegance, and grace, everything that we portray, and what Jennifer stands for, being unstoppable. So I just want to say I, I'm just humbled to be able to work with you. 
And um, I, it's just like you say, wow. It's just wow. <laughs> Yes, I am a crier, and I'm glad about it because I love Jesus. <laughs> I just wanted to say that it was awesome doing the ladies' makeup. Um, it was just to see their eyes light up when they saw their face, and to see her with the glitter that let me put glitter on. Because some people don't like that, but put glitter on, and she said anything goes, just pop out. It, it's all a ministry for me. I pray about it before I even lay my hands on a brush, I pray and say, Lord, you decrease Yolanda and you increase and you design the ladies the way you want them to look today. So everything that I, it's not even about Yolanda, it's about ministering to women and let them know that they are beloved because we all have stories. Um, and even just within myself, just and being a makeup artist, just beginning to know that Yolanda, I love you. And to look in the mirror and see that you are loved. So it was, it's just awesome to be able to give my time and talent to these ladies. And she was so amazing <laughs> back there and letting me do whatever and just letting her know it was all about you. And I just can't wait to see what God is going to do in you ladies' lives. So God bless you all. Okay, that concludes our fashion makeover. And I am the last presenter.